And now, your first alert five weather. We've had some beautiful fall colors, really vibrant this week along the I-25 corridor, finally making it to the lower elevations. In fact, some of our colors are past peak. And Quail Lake is starting to get more towards that dead color instead of the beautiful yellow color. So we're starting to lose some leaves at Quail Lake from Carter Chavez. Beautiful shots there, as well as from Cheyenne Canyon from Bruce. So in terms of our temperatures, it hasn't felt like fall today. Had the record heat, certainly feeling more like late summer conditions. And regardless, though, it's making for a really beautiful night. 74 in Colorado Springs, so if you're heading out downtown, really comfortable t-shirt weather for now, but that temperature will drop pretty quickly. So maybe just have a light jacket with you just in case it gets a little too chilly and 80 in Pueblo still at this hour. Looks like we are starting to lose some of the leaves as well at the Riverwalk, but still some fall colors left to come in the next few weeks for temperatures right now. Again, we're still just slowly recovering from our really toasty day. 60s and 70s right now in our mountains, 70s and 80s in the plains. It's 80 still in Rye, 70 in Alamosa, 79 in La Junta. And by tonight, we will drop into the near freezing territory for our mountains into the middle 30s. Alamosa will be the cool spot at 25, 40s in play for I-25 in the plains. So pretty mild and above freezing for most of us tonight. And then tomorrow we do it again. We'll have another very warm day up to 77 in the Springs, 80 in Pueblo, not record breaking again, but still about 10 to 15 degrees above average. We'll have 70s into our mountains, although some spots will have the upper 60s, 70s and 80s into the plains. In Teller County, that's where you'll find some 60s tomorrow, mostly 70s for the El Paso County region, up to 74 for Ellicott, up to 80 for Boone and 80 in Pueblo tomorrow, Pueblo West up to 78. So we'll have this warmth sticking around for the start of the weekend. And in general on Saturday across the state, we will be nice and sunny and warm. Pretty much everybody's in the 60s or 70s, couple low 80s. Saturday evening, a few stray clouds moving in might just give us a nice sunset. Other than that, we are looking dry Sunday. It's going to pan out very similarly. 60s and 70s for highs, a few afternoon clouds into the evening, making for a great sunset. And then we just continue with this warm, dry weather into Monday. But then I am looking at some cooler air starting to make its way in. That's towards the end of the month, and you'll start to see hints of that here on the Super 7 day forecast. So we're in the upper 70s this weekend, mid 70s Monday. Monday, once you're going back to work and school for the week, just keep in mind, it's still going to be one of those awkward days where you need a jacket in the morning, but then you definitely don't in the afternoon, so plan accordingly. But then it's going to be t-shirt or sweater weather for the rest of the week. We'll have several breezy cold fronts moving in, cooling our temperatures down a couple degrees as we head towards the rest of the week. And Friday is where we only have a high of 60. For Pueblo, 80s for the next three days, then a nice drop into the upper 60s Tuesday, breezy with our next cold front moving in through the end of the week, 64 by Thursday, 61 on Friday. And we'll all look at more freezing overnight temperatures as we head to Thursday night for Canyon City. Also nice and warm still for the next three days. And then those 60s and low 70s return from Tuesday onward. So that's when it feels a little bit more like fall. And for Woodland Park, you could get a quick rain shower to, with Tuesday's front. But other than that, after this beautiful weekend, we're going to fall into the 50s. It will be a chilly end of next week. Rob. Alex.